Quick disclaimer, I have nothing against Connor, and this isn't a personal attack to him or anything, I'm just criticizing his content. So, if you watch Connor, you know how he always goes. Guys, I had to go on Twitter in order to make this video. It was so painful. I hate Twitter, so please subscribe. Well, I had to do something more painful. I had to watch the most boring YouTuber ever. Yeah, I had to watch Connor Pox. There's lots of topic commentary channels that makes content about news or internet drama and some of them could be really entertaining but some of them are just painful to watch and that's why I don't get interested in most of the topic commentary channels. Most of them are just people who make cheap low effort content for quick cash where they complain about Twitter or cancel culture and exaggerating events to make it seem like a big deal to draw attention to their videos when in reality nobody really gives a shit. One example of these channels is Corner Pugs. Sometimes I just wonder how did he even get this big amount of subscribers? They might could have been already famous by milking famous creators and clickbaiting people and what surprises me the most is how nobody really calls him out for his content and the ones that actually do call him out they end up getting big amount of dislikes from connor fanboys so i'm pretty much just gonna talk about why i dislike his content when it comes to the effort that he puts in his videos. A toddler who makes Minecraft survival games let's plays is actually better than him. Taking a quick look at his content gives you an idea about what I'm talking about. He's the type of a commentator that puts a gameplay and talks over it for 10 minutes and then puts 5 ads on it and calls it a day. He barely does any editing other than putting the audio and the Minecraft parkour gameplay together. Speaking of gameplay, it's supposed to be something to entertain the viewer and not make them feel bored while watching your video and not to piss them off. He keeps falling and repeating the same maps over and over again. I'm not saying that you're supposed to be god at the game to make it entertaining but at least don't make it look like a drunk 50 year old is playing the game and it's not fun to watch whatsoever and sometimes i feel like connor legit does not know how to use a recording or an editing software he's always leaving parts where he's breathing or repeating the same words and i can't express how boring his audio is at least put some background music since your audio is painfully boring i'm okay with youtubers who don't put a lot of editing in their videos there's some youtubers that don't do a lot of editing but the ray of representation and jokes and topics makes the video a lot more interesting to watch meanwhile connor would almost no editing other than the gameplay and the screenshots that he puts every now and then and he has the most angering way of speech and delivering his points because he's never straight to the point and i'll get to that in a bit and something that really gets me in his videos is actually his thumbnails i know it's not the most important part of the video and i myself fall guilty under that not having that much of a good thumbnail but god damn it at least put some effort dude i know it's not supposed to be a perfect thumbnail but taking a picture of someone and typing cancelled or upscaling it makes me feel like i'm watching a shit posting channel He usually uses his poorly made thumbnails to mislead the viewers or lying in his titles with making an event or something that happened on Twitter seem like it's the end of the world. I mean take a look at his titles. I feel awful for Sniper Wolf. I mean yeah that seems like a pretty related picture to show how awful he really feels for her. Yeah I feel bad for Sniper Wolf so I'm gonna use pretty questionable pictures of her for my own revenue. Smart one Connor. Did her Rahigo collection get leaked or something? <laughs> what is this? And he reused the same picture again. I mean it seems like he really likes this picture. It's just another cheap method to bring attraction to your videos. She ruined her life in 5 seconds. Spoiler alert, she did not ruin her life. The video was just a story about something that happened to his friend where his girlfriend cheated on him. And he always uses that. They ruined their life in one microsecond. And just as usual, they're all clickbaits. That's just one of his ways of misleading the viewers and try to get their attention. Another example is his Technoblade and Jaden and him. Oh, what? What? Holy shit, this is gonna be a whole different segment. Whenever he finds a topic that gives him views, he milks the living soul out of it until it dries out. I'm gonna skip the dream ones because I don't wanna ruin my day, but let's take the Technoblade quote unquote drama as an example. In short, he made a joke on Twitter a few years ago. Someone found it and got mad about it, so they made a thread about it calling him problematic and all that stuff, and it got a few thousand likes, which is nothing compared to the amount of subscribers that Techno has. So Connor decided to make an 11 minutes long video whining about cancel culture, and in the video, he barely showed any screenshots or anything of the group that he was talking about. In fact, the tweets that he showed were calling the whole thing stupid, so there was really nothing to be angry at. It wasn't a big deal, and he admitted it himself. Twitter, there's a small subgroup that is really trying to get him for this, but the majority of people, if anything, are maybe asking him to at least address it, but I would say even the majority are saying this is stupid, this is wrong. Then he made a video saying that Technoblade responded. He didn't respond. However, he did not respond in a tweet. He did not respond in a video. He didn't respond in anything. Yes, exactly. He did not respond. Not in a video, not in a tweet. He's responded with something, you know, 
that actually, you know... No, he didn't respawn. Why did you have to ruin it? All he did was removing some of his old Skywars videos. He didn't say why he deleted them. He didn't give any reasons. It could be anything. But the genius mastermind Connor decided that it's actually because of the angry kids on Twitter. I doubt that he even saw it. Even if he did, he probably doesn't give a shit about it. Anyways, he goes back to milking the topic. Casual Connor. Another example of his milking a hundred content cow speedrun is Jaden animations. Connor acts like a third grader who just discovered what sex is. Basically, the whole thing is just Connor crying about how Rule 34 exists on the internet and that people are making Rule 34 fan arts about Jaden, which is normal to happen on the internet. Anyone could be drawn by their fans in strange ways. It's the internet. But our savior Connor decides to speak about it and saves Jaden. How, you might ask? Easy. By bringing more attention and giving more exposure to the small group and making more people search about it and have their eyes on them. Real smart. So if you don't know uh, Jaden's community, if you literally look up Jaden animations on Google Images, uh, don't, don't do it, by the way. Don't do it. But if you look up Jaden animations on Google Images, you're gonna get a lot of, uh, interesting images, a lot of interesting drawings of her. But Alright, yep. There isn't. There was a few quirky fan arts, but there was nothing wrong with it. It was nothing like what you just described. Matter of fact, your type of shit was the first thing to show up, which could be more harmful for her than this type of art. Because if someone searched her name or a sponsor or anything, and they saw DISGUSTING GROSS and learn about the art, they'll probably not want to attach their reputation to stuff like that. And you're the problem because you're the one who's bringing attention to it. Just why it, it just really isn't acceptable. And if you're gonna do it, don't post it. Don't let Jaden see it. Just, I mean, first of all, don't do it in general. I mean, they both strongly are, are against it, and it's, it would make them very uncomfortable. But if you can't control yourself, just don't post it. Do you really think when you say, guys, it's not okay, people are just gonna listen and stop doing it? No. Nothing is gonna change. This has been happening for so long, dude. Like, I remember back in 2016 when I was watching Markiplier and Jacksepticeye, and I learned a little bit about, uh, the what what people call septiplier. I know that Jack and Mark have come out about it later saying that that stuff really made them uncomfortable and it was probably one of the reasons why they didn't have more collabs like there could be a million reasons for why they didn't collab. Not every content creator has to collab all the time. But it actually gets worse when you think about it when it comes to uh, Jaden and James. Real quick if you could make sure you are subscribed to Well the thing is the thing with Jaden and James it goes another level because James has a girlfriend no shit! Do you really think that people care if he has a girlfriend or not? Or if he's even okay with it or not? There's creators like Tommy in it who say that he's not okay with the shipping and fan arts. But people still do it anyways. In the end of the day, they're just entertainers in the eyes of the viewer. I mean, honestly, as a fan of both Mark and Jack, or Jack Septicai, I honestly wish that they made more videos together. And I think that there is a decent chance that if there wasn't so much hype around this relationship that never happened and doesn't exist and makes them both feel really uncomfortable, they've stated in later interviews that it makes them feel really uncomfortable, they probably would have made more content together. I wanted to see if they actually say that they're not okay with it and that it made them uncomfortable and that they stopped making content together because of it. And I didn't find anything. Jack just called it weird, but he didn't seem to care that much. But people who ship Scepter Player didn't ruin me and Mark's relationship, which I've seen a lot of people talk about as well. That, that didn't happen. It wasn't, Scepter Player didn't ruin me and Mark's friendship or anything like that, so don't feel too bad about it, please. That, I, I hated seeing people do that, and then other people were attacking others saying, you fucking ruined their friendship because of Scepter Player, which was, wasn't the case. Like, don't be dicks to each other. And of course, he milked it and made more clickbaity videos about it. And here's what Jaden thinks about his type of videos. And it is so rampant that there are videos out there of people saying, this is too much, this needs to stop. Have you ever talked about any of this? No, I haven't. And people have thought that I have. There's rumors, people say she said this or she said this. And it's yeah. like, you're all wrong. I haven't said anything. <laughs> and you're crazy to think that I would. Because like, if you bring it up, then it draws more attention to it. And the people who are making the videos really they make me a little bit more upset because they're pretending to take the moral high ground on like, let this is horrible. Right. When they're the ones who are really like profiting and benefiting. True, true. And you're, you can't pretend to be the good person in this scenario. Like to put it lightly, I don't really appreciate it. Now you might be wondering, if his videos are that bad, how are some people still watching him? It's because he stretches his videos, fills it with useless vague information, keeps rambling and repeating points, tells you to subscribe and like his videos at random times, and usually makes it longer than just don't forget to like and sub. Leave a like on this video right now and you'll literally get nothing. Dude, it is a fantastic deal. Leave a like.
you won't regret it. And you're just sitting here, waiting to know what the fuck happened, just to find out that you were clickbaited. So last night, I actually had a friend contact me who is a relatively, a, a decent fan of Domix, you know, isn't like a, a, a mega fan who like wakes up every day and prays to his shrine of Domix in the corner and every night says his good night prayers to Domix or anything, right? But he's a pretty good, a pretty big fan of him, enjoys his comics, and he sent me a text last night, kind of just asking me to cover this topic. So my friend was kind of going through Domix's comment section and also kind of just going over through on Twitter. I know, I mean, honestly, he is such a brave man for going on Twitter. I mean, he deserves, a, you know, a, a like and subscribe. I was mentioning that friend any useful to the video. Yeah, guys, my friend is the one who sent me this. I'm just doing my job, you know what I'm saying? I definitely don't search for this stuff and don't look for it, and I never go on Twitter, though I make videos about it every day. Oh, and please subscribe and like, and I'm saying it in a quirky way, so it seems like I don't care and that I'm not begging for views. But while he was going through the comment section and Twitter, ugh, I don't want to say that name anymore. Oh, I don't want to mention that terrible name. He sent me about 15, 16 different screenshots of comments from a bunch of different people. Most the name, I always make it difficult to find, but you guys are like legitimately FBI spy agents and seem to find comments no matter what, so. Dude, it's been two minutes already and you've explained nothing. Yeah, our friends, screenshots, comments, you know the comments. You guys are FBI. Final message. In the end, I think Connor could actually make good content if he stops being a lazy creator who makes cheap shit content. I've seen some of his older videos, and they were not that bad. And yeah, I also... Leave a like in this video to be able to teleport just like an Enderman man. I'm not even joking. Leave a like. Shut the fuck up.